how, how, how much have you had previously in previous years versus how much you had this year? So previous years, we've, we've... first of all, that was an incredible catch. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to keep it together. Amazing. here in Linden, Washington. We've got Lance Honkoop with uh, Ellen Boss Agronomy with us. Kind of coming and visiting with Lance and for the past couple of months he's been texting me and you've been talking a lot about you guys have faced a brand new challenge this year that oh really you haven't had to deal with a lot of. Oh boy, yeah. Uh, now we know what you guys are dealing with every right. year. A little, little, little slice of the Midwest out here yeah. in uh, northern yeah. Washington, right? Northwest yeah. Washington. So, so you've had a large increase in fall armyworm and corn rootworm, correct? Correct. Yeah. So what are you seeing exactly? Like how, how, how much have you had previously in previous years versus how much you had this year? So previous years, we've... we've... First of all, that was an incredible catch. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was trying to keep it together. So, right, so, go so, so previous years, we've never seen Western corn rootworm here ever. And uh, you know, it's kind of a, a, they call it the billion dollar bug, right? That they sa said would never really make it west of the Rockies from what I hear. And uh, we've just gotten pounded this year. And uh, you know, we saw just a little bit of it last fall. Yeah. And uh, just a couple little fields. And you know, we thought we might have a little bit of an issue in some areas. Right. Um, so this year, all of a sudden, when those beetles started coming out of the ground, we didn't know what was going to hit us. Right. Um, and it was just going crazy. Yeah. Right? They were clipping silk like it was going out of style. We were worried about pollination. We're just trying to figure out this new bug and what to do, right? It's right. all brand new. Right. Well, the more and more we look, the more and more we saw root damage. Right. And, uh, you know, plants were falling over in some spots. It wasn't crazy widespread, but it was it was a fair part of our county here. So you went from basically no infestation at all, pretty much. Correct. To extreme yeah. infestation in yeah. one year. One year. Right. We've, so. we've, we've never seen it. It was just unbelievable. And, you know, we're... We we're out scouting fields and we we're seeing upwards of 75 to 80 beetles per plant. Wow. And uh, wow. instantly, yeah. uh, you know, we started scouring the internet, talking to people, making phone calls. What, what do we do? Yeah. You know, this is something brand new, right? Right. And um, we got a lot of good information, talked to some people in the Midwest. You guys, you know, you helped us out a lot on that, you know, gave us some good information. And, uh, you know, I think the biggest thing is next year we're gonna have to really get a good plan together for right. our, for a growing season. Going ahead, yeah, so. yeah, so exactly. So what have you found outside of uh, the trait side? So instead of heavier traits, what other things are you guys doing? Gonna be looking at next year so, to try to combat the uh, you know corn rootworm. Next year, the biggest thing will be crop rotation, right? What what are we gonna rotate? You know, and the biggest thing, the biggest infestations, we'll call them, we saw was the years it was corn on corn on corn on yeah. corn. Yeah. Uh, a lot of guys in this county don't do a huge amount of crop rotation because they have a, you know, they got to have their grass fields around their dairies for getting rid of the manure. Right. And uh, that's kind of the biggest challenge we face They're in this county. They're limited on their options. Right. I mean, it's, not, so, it's not a choice of I want to do this, this is what I have to do. Basically. Right. Otherwise your expense of handling this manure just goes through the roof, right? If you got to haul it 10 miles down the road. So is anybody doing any insecticides of anything, granulars or liquids or anything for that yet? So we've been using Capture LFR, Infro Insecticide in our liquid starters. Okay. And, uh, but we've always used it for wireworm. So right. we've only been running right. at the wireworm rate. We've never right. run the full so rate for rootworm, right? Increasing their, your rate per Most definitely, yeah. most definitely, you know, and, and even planting, you know, we're gonna have to just really look at timing now, right. you know, uh, it's gonna be a big timing issue. Yeah. And, and so, so. so that was one of them, fall armyworm has also been an issue. Yeah, that's like. our that's our new one. Uh, okay. We've kind of battled the, the rootworm you know, through the summer, and now all of a sudden, the last 10 days, we've just been seeing our grass fields just getting destroyed by these uh, these true armyworms. I mean, how many are you seeing on a plant, I mean, when it comes to the fall armyworm? So, they always say you should measure like a square foot, right? Okay. And kind of our, most people have been saying two to three per square foot, you should be uh, looking at getting sprayed. Okay. 
I've been seeing upwards anywhere from 10 to 20 wow. in heavily infested fields. Wow. And they're literally just moving in tens of thousands. Destroy something in a oh, it's unreal. I've seen a, a, a grass field leveled off in four days. So next year it's just going to be scouting early. You know, we got to get on it early. We got to get on it early. You've got good tools to be able to offset those, right? You've got some insecticides that yeah. do a good job yeah. there, but it's just. Yeah making sure you're getting out there early enough to, to make sure you're before we see the damage threshold. yes yep. exactly we've Especially never you know we've never seen for. them around yeah, here you're looking at yeah right you know we've seen them but just really low numbers where this year it's just insane we i literally see them moving across the road in thousands of them from one yeah. field to the other so i mean you got the thing to keep in mind and for people to think about is that if you're talking that heavy of a concentration your trait package is, is it's going to help, but that's not going to be, you can't just, we'll say, well, I should have planned a 3000 DT or I should have planned a, you know, one right. of the other heavier trait stacks. That's going right. to help for sure, no doubt. Right. But you're going to have to look at something other. You're going to have to look at some additional application. Oh, most definitely. Most definitely. It's that heavy. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And it's, um, you know, we're even talking about possibly we might have to look at it at our side dress time yeah. when we're cultivating and putting an insecticide down possibly. Uh, it's just going to be a matter of scouting, seeing what we got out there, right? And, and especially for the first couple of years, because we just got hammered this year. And we know there's a lot that went down to lay eggs this year. Right. So we know next year's population, it's going to be way worse. You know, and, and we've never really had these around. We've never had bugs here. We've never had to spray, really. Yeah. Every once in a while, you'll get an odd year with crane flies. We get those pretty bad. Um, but we've never had these army worms that I've known of. Uh, we've never had root worm. And, uh, you know, normally you really don't notice it till you have a problem, right? Yep. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh, panic mode goes on and, you know, we, yep. we better get combating on this, yep. right? Makes so sense. next year we know what to look for. We know the signs. We know the symptoms. You know, I've been talking to growers. They put new seeding grasses in this spring. They said they got a really good first cutting and then second, third cutting, fourth cutting, there wasn't anything there. Yeah and they were water and irrigating. And we've come off a dry summer. Most people just blame it off the heat and the drought. Well, it's a lot of it is probably to do with some of these bugs, Yeah. you know? And we've, we're definitely gonna see an, uh, a decrease in our uh, yield on our corn this year Makes because sense. of the oh, rootworm. Yeah. So farmers need to so. make sure either, either, if they're not gonna get out there either, that they're working with somebody who is gonna get out there and be checking their fields and don't be afraid of going over it one or two times if you need to. Right. right? And make sure you're right. checking it early and make sure you're putting down everything with it at planting time that Most you need definitely. to. Most definitely. Most right? definitely. So. Yeah. No, we're going to be, for this next cup growing year, we're looking at traded corns, you know, which normally we've never had to worry about other than the Roundup trait. Yep. And, uh, you know, max rate insecticides, possibly some different mm -hmm. modes of action insecticides. And, uh, you know, try and keep these populations in check because we know we're going to have them here now probably forever yeah. or at least a long time. But we need to get them in controlling populations yeah. where these things aren't coming at us yeah. and just destroying corn and grass, right? All right. Yeah. Well, that sounds Perfect. good. So All right. good luck and keep us informed. Yeah. yeah. Sounds right. good. Yeah. See ya. Thanks, Scott. Yep.